Hi, everybody. It's Deborah from Work at Home Online for Free.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Today's video is going to be how to build an email list. Now, the best thing that I could think of to teach people how to build an email list is to actually physically show you how I do it. And so that's what we're going to do in this video today. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Deborah. I own and run this website called Work at Home Online for Free.com. Uh, where I have dozens of articles and blog posts all about teaching people how to make money online. I am a full-time professional internet marketer. I've been doing it since 2015. I have this and several other websites. And I personally have almost 4,000 email subscribers as of this moment. Um, so I, I always build email lists uh, for all of my websites. And I have it set up. It's pretty automatic. It doesn't take a lot of my time. And so so like I say, the, the best way I could think of to teach you how to build an email list is to show you how I do it. Now, when I first decided to grow an email list, I did do some research on the best way to do it, the best software to use, all that kind of thing. Now, I settled on two products. One is called Mail Munch and one is called Aweber. And there could be other ones that are cheaper. There could be other ones that are better. There could be other ones that you like better. All I can tell you is I did the research. I compared everything. These are the ones that I use. I think they're the cheapest. I don't pay a lot of money at all. And uh, this is what I use, and it's very easy. And once I set it up, it's done. I don't have to worry about it again. So, um, again, welcome. Thanks for watching my video. And let's go ahead and get to it. Now, the first thing I mentioned was Mail Munch. This is how I um, subscribers on my website. Um, you know, what I do is um, I have a pop-up. Let's see if I can refresh this page and get my pop-up to show up for you guys. Um, if I refresh this page, it might not do it because I've already visited the website. Uh, but anyway, I, you get, oh, here it is. See, there's a pop-up. This is what you can create in Mail Munch. Now, it doesn't have to be as you know, fancy schmancy is mine. Mine says free affiliate marketing training. Sign up for this free video on how I learned to work from home online. So people put in their name and their email, they sign up and I, it takes them right to that video. Okay. That's a little bit more complicated than just a regular sign up form, but that kind of gives you a good, um, uh, a good idea of, you know, how, good it can be. You know, you can send them anything. You can offer them anything. When they get the, um, we're going to create a thank you page that's going to give them whatever you're offering them, whether it's a free gift, an ebook, or whatever, um, or no gift at all. It could be just subscribe to my email list. That's it. A pop-up shows up like this and that's it. Okay. But this is, this is what you use Mail Munch for. Pop-ups like this, you use this is called Mail Munch. Like I said, there's other companies that do this. I use this one. Now, here's the exciting thing I found about Mail Munch. This is free. And if you only have one website, it's free for a long, long time. Now, let's go under pricing here. I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about. If you go to pricing under Mail, Mail Munch, you're going to see they have different um, prices monthly for different levels of membership. Now, by the way, it says annual 20% off. If you're an affiliate marketer, if you're an internet marketer, especially if you're just getting um, just getting started, please keep in mind that any software that you're using for your business, you're going to save a ton of money by paying annually. Okay, almost everything I come across, whether it's affiliate marketing training, whether it's, uh, you know, an autoresponder for email, um, no matter what it is, SEO companies, all of it, they usually give you a really big discount uh, for doing it annually. But we don't have to talk about that here because I don't think you're going to have to pay anything on mail launch. Let me tell you, for example, I'm sorry, my stupid head is in the way here. Uh, and I don't, I'm not as enough of a video person to know how to get myself out of there. But anyway, the free, the program is free to start. See, free, zero per month. That includes one website, unlimited forms, page level targeting, and integrations. That's all you need, okay? If you only have one website, you can do unlimited pop-ups. When they talk about forms, they're talking about those pop-ups. So you could have a different one on every page of your website. You could have as many of them as you want. One website and integrations. And I'm going to teach you about that in just a second. So honestly, if you only have one website, you could go on for eternity with Mail Munch and never pay a thing. 
Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. Now, when you start paying is when you have more than one website. Like, for example, if you have three websites you're using this on, you'll pay $12 a month. If you have five websites, you'll pay $20 a month. If you have tons, you know, you get all the bells and whistles, you get everything for $60 a month. But if you only have one website, by the way, you can do this for a blog, too. Uh, you know, you can do this on your blog. Like, if you have a WordPress blog, you know, you can use this on there. So that's the, the cool thing about MailMunch. So let's, let's click out of there and let's go to my mail munch now this is my mail munch and i'm gonna just show you uh i have several websites this i one of my websites is called peoplelovinganimals.com and um i'm gonna show you that one because it's just i don't know this stuff's kind of cute on here and so for my website peoplelovinganimals.com i have some pop-ups i have a pop-up for dog lovers and i have a pop-up for cat lovers because i have a dog lovers email list and i have a cat lovers email list so i have these pop-ups I call them pop-ups. You know, they pop up like I just showed you. When you, people open your website, when they go on their website, they get this pop-up that invites them to subscribe. Now, for example, here's my dog lovers one. And this one um, offers them a free dog training manual signing up now you will get a lot more email subscribers if you offer them something free if you offer them something free for signing up you're going to get a lot more email subscribers now if you don't have anything to offer for now if you don't have an ebook if you don't have a free video that you did or um also your free gift can be an article that you wrote like say for example if your website is about um gardening well, your pop-up on your website could say, uh, sign up to receive my article about the best time of year to plant certain flower seeds or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You know your niche better than anybody else. You know your topic of your website. So if nothing else, create one nice article, one nice blog post that people would be interested in and just offer that for signing up. You know, sign up. So this one, for example, here's mine. I created it in Mail Munch, and it says subscribe to receive a free dog training manual. That's a picture of the dog training manual. So you can put text in here. You can put pictures in here. And they enter their email, and they subscribe. And then you set it up. Let's see if it's on this. Oh, yeah. Again, I got to get my face out of here. Try to get my face out of here. You may not see me again because... Oh, no, that's going to cancel the recording. Good thing I did that. I'm sorry. I'm fairly new at YouTube, so I don't know what I'm doing. But um, that just goes to show you, you can have a YouTube channel, too, and not know what you're doing. You're here watching me, right? <laughs> anyway, behind my face here, when you create the form in AWeber, which it's very simple. Here, let me show you. We're not going to do one, but I'll just... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got it wrong. So anyway, they you just create it. You put in your text. You put in your pictures, and it can be very simple. You can just choose the template, subscribe to my email list, and say, thank you for visiting my website. Please subscribe below for my email list, and that's it. That's all it has to be, okay? It doesn't have to be anything fancy schmancy like this. But you're going to get more subscribers if you offer something free. So, again, behind my fat head over here in the corner, there's a, a thank you page. Now, what you can do is if you leave it alone, then what happens is when people subscribe, when they put in their email and then they click subscribe, MailMunch will just say thank you. It'll just say thank you on their screen. That's the end of it. But you can also put in your own little note if you want. You can write it yourself and it just comes up, you know, thank you so much for subscribing to my website. I hope you enjoy my articles about gardening or whatever. You can do your own little thank you note again behind my fat head. If I wasn't here, if I could show you or you can have that thank you go directly to any URL. OK, so mine goes to a page on my people loving animals website that gives them this free dog manual. OK, I hope that's not too confusing. Feel free to comment below with any questions if I'm not clear. OK, uh, but anyway, so this is the one for the dog lovers. I just said subscribe to receive a free dog training manual. I put a picture of it. I said subscribe. And then for my thank you, I'm asking Mail Munch to refer them to this page of my website. They get they show up on the page of my website and there's their dog training manual. Now, what happens is that gets integrated. Now, let's go to integrate here. That gets integrated with your um, autoresponder. OK, if you don't know what an autoresponder is, an autoresponder is what you use to keep 
um, an email list. Uh, now, let me backtrack just a little bit. If you just have Mail Munch, then you're going to have an email list. They're going to keep these emails for you. But you really can't do much with it, in my opinion, especially in the free version. You can't do much. You really need an autoresponder. Now, one of the biggest ones is Aweber. That's the one I use. That's the one I'm going to show you. There are other ones. There's one called um, Get Response. It's another one. Again, I've done the research. I compared them all. I compared all the prices. I settled on Aweber. Um, there is an actual um, review of Aweber on my work at home online for free.com website. And there's also a video about Aweber, um, how and why I use Aweber on this YouTube channel. So if you want more information about them, then um, I've given them reviews and everything. I promote them on my website. They're what I use. It's just what I do. But so what you want to do is you want to have your sign-up forms integrated with your autoresponder. And an autoresponder, like I said, that's where you keep this list. And then you can do stuff with your list, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So when you create your little pop-up form on MailMunch, you go to Integrate. And then... Now, I'm already integrated here, so I can't show you that step, but they'll ask you what company they'll, you'll be able to click it. If you're with Aweber, you click Aweber. If you're with GetResponse, you, quick, you click GetResponse. There's a whole bunch of autoresponder companies that MailMunch is affiliated with. Chances are yours is there. I personally use Aweber. So if you're going to do what I do, um, I'm going to show you Aweber in a minute. Go to Aweber first and set up your list and then come in here and set up your form and then you can integrate it to go to your email list on Aweber. Again, stick with me. If I'm not making any sense, if you've never done this before, stick with me. I'm going to take you to Aweber and I'm going to show you this. Um, I'm going to try to sum it up at the end too to kind of maybe make it easier um, because I know I'm throwing a lot of information. So what you do is you connect this sign-up form to whatever email list you want in Aweber. All right. Now, let me just take you to Aweber real quick because this is a good point show you. Uh, here's manage list. Here's my Aweber account here. I have a lot of lists. I have a lot of websites. Um, by the way, if, if you get home page, I've got 38 in one at this moment, the moment of this video, that's how many subscribers that I have. Okay. So do I know how to build an email list? Yeah. To the tune of about 4,000 so far and growing every single day for all of my lists. So this is what so if you go to manage lists, this is how many lists I have. I have a dog lovers list and I have a um, cat lovers list for my peoplelovinganimals.com website. So see up here, you can look at all your lists here. See, I have a whole bunch of lists for all my websites. I have a lot of stuff going on online. I, like I say, I do this full time. Um, I'm an internet mecca online, so I have a lot of things. So you can see I have a PLA that stands for people loving animals, uh, dog lovers list and cat lovers list. So I want for that, for this pop-up, I'm asking MailMunch to integrate that with my dog lovers on Aweber. All right. Now, if we go back, let me just show you. I hope I'm making sense here. <laughs> Come on, let's go back. Now, you can see I also have a cat lovers pop over. Okay, so here's the cat lovers. I guess I want to show you this one because they're just really cute, I think. Um, by the way, a little plug for my website. If you visit my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you'll see these. And if you're a dog lover or a cat lover, you can sign up for my email list. I do have a YouTube channel all about dogs and cats. And I donate 10% of everything I make on that website to animal charities. Uh, anyway, so this is the cat lover. So if they show up on any page of my website that's under the category of cats, they get this pop-up. Subscribe to receive a free guide to stop bad cat behavior. So again, I set this up and I set this up. I go to integrate and I have this one go to my cat lovers email list on um, 
Aweber. See, so like I say, you go in ahead of time, you set up your account with Aweber, you create your list. Now, if you only have one website, you're not going to need all these lists. Okay, you're only going to have one list for your website. That's it. So when you create your mail munch pup form, you're going to integrate it with Aweber and you're going to choose that one list that's just your list. Okay, most people I think do have just one website or one blog. So they have the one pop-up subscribe form that they create and then they integrate it to their one list on Aweber. Okay, very simple. Like I say, I happen to be a full-time affiliate marketer. I have many websites. I have many pop-ups. I have many email lists. I have all this stuff going on. But see, this is how you do it. So I guess, I hope that that makes sense. Um, let's go back, because I don't want this to be like a full tutorial, although I'll, I'll want me to. If you want more, if you want more stuff, just comment below, Deborah, show me how to do this. Uh, show me how to make the pop-up form. Show me how to do Aweber. Say it in the comments and, um, I'll do it for you. If, if you, if you, uh, if you guys want me to, I'll do it for you. But let's say, for example, you, you're here and you log into Mail Munch. That's all you got to do is log in. You don't need a credit card or anything because your plan is going to be free. And unless you have three websites or more, it's going to be free forever. And you create new. And that's how you create your pop-up form. Okay, you just go to create new and then you go through and it lets you put in your text. It lets you put in a picture if you want to. You don't have to have a picture. It lets you just say, yeah, just go ahead and give them the standard thank you. Or if you say, no, I want you to send them to this article or I want you to send them to this web page or wherever, um, wherever you want them to go. They can go to an affiliate link if you want to. Like say you're an affiliate for uh, Joe Blow Lawnmowers and you have your affiliate link and you do a pop up uh, and you want them to go to that affiliate link. They can go to any URL. Okay. So you decide that and you just tell Nail Munch what you'd like to have happen when they subscribe. And then you integrate that form with your list on Aweber and it's done. And then um, when you're, um, when anybody visits your website, uh, that form will pop up and um you can uh collect emails now i don't want to get too convoluted here but let me just tell you briefly uh for anybody that's had a website for a while and you're a little bit more experienced with all this uh you can do what's called behavior see in this tab now here you are you're in your pop-up you can go to behavior and you can set behavior rules now, what this is, let's say there, and there are, for me, there are pages on your website where you don't want it to show up. You know, like, for example, some of the pages on my websites have videos. I don't want the pop-up showing up in the middle of the video. You know what I mean? Um, there's just maybe sometimes on your website that it's not appropriate for the plot for this to show up. Do you see what I mean? So you can set that up in here and that's all under behavior. You can say how many seconds do you want them to be on the site before it shows up? Uh, do you want it to be where they scroll down two thirds the way before it shows up? You know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so you can really be specific when you're going through all these steps here of setting up your pop-up and then you can actually tell it uh don't show on this blog post don't show on that blog post and you put in the url and it'll tell you you can also do it by category now all of my websites are wordpress websites and every single post that i do can be put into a category so as you can imagine for the peoplelovinganimals.com website i have a dog category i have a cat category Okay, so like this dog pop up in the behavior section, I can say I want this to pop up under the dog category. So this one's only going to show up on any blog post on my website that I have put in the dog category. See, and then the same for the cat one. I set up the cat pop up. Um, this is why I use these because it's dog cats. It's easy to understand. Like it's an, I think it's an easy way for me to show you. Okay. So any blog posts and articles that I write on my website that have to do with cats, when I, when I publish the post, I put it in the cat category and then I tell Mail Munch that cat, um, pop up that I made. I only want that to pop up on the cat lovers articles. Do you see? So like I said, I want to get into a full blown tutorial here, but you can set it up really specifically for this form to do what you want it to do.
Okay, so it's it's pretty cool. You can make it any size you want. This is kind of the format that I chose with the blue and white. When you first start, you're going to see there's a whole bunch of templates. Now, that's the other thing, too. Um, you can upgrade and get all these paid templates. Don't do it. Um, I don't know. You can if you want to. I guess I shouldn't be so bossy. But I don't. I just choose the freebies. There's only a few little freebies. I choose them. I don't know. I think this looks pretty nice. I think that cat one looked cute, don't you? I don't pay for them. I don't, I don't upgrade and pay, you know, I want as much of my profits as I can get. You know, I spend money when I need to. I spend a ton of money on Bing ads. I, I get what I need to for my business. I'm not an idiot, but I'm also not an idiot. I'm not going to pay for stuff that I don't have to pay for. So use the free template, pick your colors, pick what you want. There's, there's free stuff to choose from and just do that. Okay. Now, uh, for a Weber, you know, I don't know. I don't think we need to be well let me let me show you a couple things what i wanted to do was i wanted to go to the home page let's go there now um well we'll have to log out to get to there i think so please forgive me for the fact that i'm getting confused i'm being a pain here but let me show you something in this forum before i go to show you the aweber prices but just so that i'm not keeping you hanging i personally pay 30 dollars a month for aweber now i didn't pay for aweber for a long time because it's free to start and then it's free for up to a certain number of subscribers i want to say three thousand no, I, maybe I paid like $19.95 a month for up to $3,000. And then after $3,000, I had to pay $30. All I know is when I hit the $3,000 mark, it went up to $30 a month that I pay for this. Okay. But I went, uh, you can go a little while for free. And then I think it's like $19.95 a month. Um, they give you the free trial, I think, to go in and check it out. And then I think it's $19.95 a month. And I want to say that takes you up to the $3,000. Um, hopefully I won't forget about it. I'll take you to the AWeber homepage. But the link I'm going to give you in the description box of this email is going to take you there. So you're going to be able to see the prices and stuff. Um, but if you're using email marketing to make money, then obviously it's worth the $19.95 a month all day long. It's worth the $30 a month. Now, when I get higher and higher, when I get to $5,000 subscribers and so on and so on, I'm going to be paying more for, per month. Well, you should. You know, they're managing this for you but um i'll try to remember to get to the prices um later but i personally don't think that's expensive especially since i have mail months for free i don't i don't you don't pay anything for mail months if you just have the one website okay you don't pay anything now i have many websites so i gotta pay, spend more money on stuff but you know maybe if you only have one website you're never gonna have to pay for mail much for what i've shown you Okay, and AWeber, like I said, I think you get a little bit of a free trial, and then it's $19.95 a month for, I think it's up to 3,000 subscribers, and if you're not doing active, like major advertising, major internet marketing, it's going to be a long time before you have to pay any more than that, before you get up to the 3,000, okay? Um, so anyway, let me show you a couple things in here. Now, this is the reason I said earlier, you can set up your... Um, pop-ups with mail munch and leave it at that there you are you got mail munch you got some pop-ups mail munch is keeping your list for you okay the reason i tell you you need to take the extra step and get an autoresponder like aweber is you you can do so much more with it let me give you an example first of all you can create as many sign up forms as you want to so instead of a pop-up for every single thing now look, look at that under my dog lovers List. Look at all the sign up forms I've done over the years. Again, my stupid head is going to be in the way here. There's a uh, free dog training manual, free preview of the online dog trainer. That's a dog training website that I promote, Doggy Dan. It's awesome. Uh, get five free dog training videos. Um, like, for example, this get for five free dog training videos. If people sign up for that, um, you know, I wrote an article for my blog post, get five free dog training videos. And then there's the picture and they subscribe. So I, I create this sign up form specifically for this. And then what happens is I set this up in AWeber so they get emailed the five free dog training man, uh, videos. And that's called a funnel. That's called an email funnel. That's where your money is. Okay, that's where your future is as an internet marketer. The money is in the email list, okay? If you're just starting out, I am so happy for you that you're here and you're letting me show you how to build an email list because that's 
gonna be your future these are your customers this is your following this is gonna be an email list that will make you money for years to come okay so it's it's very important to do this so what I'm referring to is a funnel so for example they do I have a pop-up that I created on mail Munch. get five um, free dog videos I also have an actual blog post on my website how to get free five free dog training um, videos they sign up for it and then they go into the my dog lovers list but on the settings for this sign up form I have it set up where once a day for five days they get an email that includes a dog training video okay that's a very simple example of a funnel now that's just one thing also a so like I say in any of your things the cat lovers the dog lovers whatever you have again if you just have one website you might want to do some different things you know sign up for this sign up for that say oh I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a, a video next month about how to plant marigolds to sign up if you want to find out about it do you know what I mean like you know you can kind of get rolling here and once you're doing email marketing for a little while you kind of start to get ideas and the light bulb sleep coming on and you're really gonna be glad that you have Aweber because you can do a lot of cool stuff so you can do that now the other thing that you can do you can set up all these sign-up forms you can set up all these funnels but let's back up to a similar version if you have somebody subscribe to your email list all right I'm, there's so much I want to tell you that's why I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed because there's so much that I want to tell you but I don't want to keep you forever and ever but because you're here and because you're listening I'm assuming you want to know and I want to do a good job of teaching you so let me tell you a couple things all right first of all in Aweber you can set up um, what's called a blog broadcast all right in here if you look at messages these are your options here um, blog broadcast what that is, you set it up, and by the way, Aweber's customer service is absolutely fantastic. The people available to help you within minutes is absolutely wonderful. They have all kinds of video tutorials that teach you how to do everything, so don't ever be intimidated by anything that I'm saying or anything that you decide you want to do in Aweber because they are top-notch with helping us. They are absolutely top-notch, okay? So you're going to, all these things that I'm telling you, you can do. You're like, oh, Deborah, that's too hard. How am I going to figure that out? I figured it out by myself, and Aweber... I am telling you, they will show you anything. They'll do videos, they'll do tutorials, they'll help you. Um, they'll get, they'll be on the phone with you and talk you through stuff. They're absolutely wonderful. So don't be intimidated by that. But you can set up a blog broadcast, which is where you set it up to be connected to your website or your blog so that every time you publish a post, it automatically gets emailed to your email list. Okay, see, this is the difference between just having Mail Munch and having an autoresponder like Aweber. So you set up your form, people sign up, like say they sign up for the cat lovers list. Okay, fine. They showed up at my website. They subscribed. They got the free little cat book that I showed you. Here they are on my email list. All right, well, now you need to use that email list. Okay, so one of the things you can do is you can set up a blog broadcast. So now every time that you do a post on your website um, that that you want to go to your subscribe, it will automatically, you won't even have to go in here, you won't have to send it, it'll automatically go. Okay, so if you have one website with one topic, with one email list, that's a really cool thing to do is set up a blog broadcast because then anytime you publish a new blog post on your website or on just your blog, it'll automatically be sent to your email subscribe subscribers because you don't want to just let them go you don't want to you know you went to the trouble of getting them to your website you went to the trouble of getting their email so you want to stay in touch with them you want to provide content for them provide value for them make them a customer make them a follower the other thing you can do is what's called a follow-up series let's go into here now let me show you the follow-up series I, I think you're going to be blown away by this I'm quite proud of it now I have many of these but let me show you the follow-up series just for my dog lovers list now I have had my people loving animals website for several years now I started it in 2015 I've written hundreds of articles and blog posts and videos so it's, I've done an enormous amount of content okay so don't be intimidated by this but please just be inspired by what you can do here my followers for my dog lovers list look at them all see this is what you do you write emails and you put them in the follow-up series 
Now look at this. So somebody clicks on one of those pop-ups and they subscribe, okay? Say, and again, I'm not, I never want to insult your intelligence. Please forgive me if I do, but I'm trying to backtrack and say step by step, this happens, this happens, this happens. Because if you're on this video, how to build an email list, obviously you need help. So I'm going to stop saying that. That's the last time I'm saying it. Don't let me insult your intelligence. I don't mean to be condescending, but let's backtrack. They show up on your website. They see this free dog training manual. Yeah, I want that. They subscribe. Mail Munch sends them the dog training manual like you asked Mail Munch to. Mail Munch integrates them with this dog lover's email list. They, then, because they're on this email list, they automatically start receiving the emails in your follow-up series. The first one they get is this one, People Loving Animals Welcomes You. And it's a nice video from me. Welcome to People Loving Animals. And it tells them all about the website and everything. And then one day later, they get they start getting emails. This is a new video from Deborah, how to control dog behavior. And then they're about five days. I set mine up mostly for five days, seven days, sometimes a day in between. Uh, five days later, they get an article that I wrote called Foods That Are Poisonous for Dogs and Cats. Five days after that, they get another article from me, Dog Training T Tips, Education and Prevention. And then a day later, they get uh, The Easy Way to an Obedient Dog. That's a dog training um site uh two days after that they say did you grab doggy dan's dog training uh site how to introduce do two dogs calmly another video how to train your dog um dog aggression you see what i mean now look at this is what i'm hoping you'll be impressed with look at how many of them there are every five days every five days my email subscribers to people loving animals.com dog lovers list get a new email from me and they're very simple emails too they're not hard to write they're not hard to do you can put a picture in them you can put a video in them you can put links in them you can put smiley faces in them you can put just plain text in them um, you can send them an email and say hey I just did a new blog post here's the link hey I just did a new video here's the link you can send them valuable content that's other people's content you could say wow I just watched this really great video on YouTube here it is send them content share with them that's what's gonna make them keep following you and don't be afraid to share other people's content. Again, if you have a website about gardening and you see a really great uh, video on YouTube about the best time to plant certain plants and you think, wow, my subscriber list would really like that, then put a video in your, um, in your follow-up series. Hey, guys, I saw this great video. Give them a link to the video. Do you see what I mean? You don't have to be brilliant. You don't have to be writing pages and pages of brilliant content. You don't have to have a YouTube channel and be putting out new videos all the time. Just give them valuable information. Why did they come to your website to begin with? Because they're interested in your topic. So this is where you create value and where you create a relationship and where you create a following. Now, guess what? <laughs> if you haven't figured it out yet, this is where the money comes from. All right, this is where you brought somebody to your website, you gave them a nice little free item of some sort, free manual or what free article or something for subscribing. Now they're on your subscriber list. You sent them a nice little welcome email. Welcome to my subscriber list. Thanks for visiting my website. You're going to start getting emails from me on a regular basis. And then send them emails with good content, things they're going to like, articles, videos, whatever. And then this is where the money comes in with whatever your selling now if you're an affiliate marketer like me for example for this people loving animals.com website I um, promote a dog training website that I sell and get commission on I promote a cat training website that I sell and get commission on um, I am an affiliate for Amazon and if you don't know what else to be an affiliate for be an affiliate for Amazon because you can sell any product on Amazon like let me give you an example and again I keep going into like a full-blown tutorial here but I want you to understand the value of building an email list and then what do you do with it why do you want it and what do you do with it and how does it benefit you like for example we'll stick with the gardening website let's say you have a gardening website and you become an affiliate for Amazon 
And you maybe write articles about, you know, maybe one of your articles is how to plant marigolds. Maybe one of your articles, you can tell I'm not a gardener. I can't come up with good ideas. I, I should have given you an example of something that I know something about because I don't know anything about gardening. But, you know, what plants need to be wrapped up for winter or whatever. Like whatever your content is, you're going to send them emails and they're going to get this content from you. You're also going to share other people's comments, uh, co um, content, articles that you liked that you want to share with them, videos that you saw that you want to share with them, share all that kind of stuff but then you also sell things like for example if you say um these your, your azaleas need to be wrapped in um burlap for the winter if you live in these countries say you write an article like that you give them the link to buy buy that on amazon do you see what i mean the burlap you give them a link to buy that on amazon so maybe you give a link, say, these are my favorite gardening tools. You're going to need a hand shovel. You're going to need this. You're going to need that. For this tutorial, whatever you're teaching them, you're going to need this. You're going to need that. And you give them links in your blog posts and in your emails to purchase these things on Amazon. And you get a commission on Amazon. And that's where the money comes from, you see. So it can be little things like that and anything under the sun. If you're an affiliate for Amazon, um, you can sell anything under the sun. Amazon has any product you could possibly think of in the entire universe you can find on Amazon. So if you have a website about knitting, give them a link to buy um, knitting needles that you like and you recommend. This is the kind I use. This is the kind of yarn I suggest. Give them a link to buy it on Amazon. Do you see what I mean? So you don't have to be some pushy salesperson or write all this sales lingo and um, content and sales pages. You don't have to. You're just sending people an email that subscribe to your website on a topic that you and they both love and you're having discussions and you're giving them tips and you're giving them advice. Well, while you're giving them the tips, and advice you also recommend products and services to them that can help them and then you get a commission for it by the way I'm gonna do a little plug here forgive me but I'm gonna do it because if I'm getting you excited right now with what I'm talking about and you're like wow I just wanted to build an email list I had no idea I could do all this um, I want you to go to a website called Wealthy Affiliate. Now, I'm not even going to link it in this description box because I want things to stay relevant. It has nothing to do with this particular video. Maybe I will link it in there. Maybe I will. Anyway, Wealthy Affiliate, go to my website. Matter of fact, I will give you the link. I'm going to give you the link in the description box for Wealthy Affiliate. They're the ones that taught me how to do this. They're the ones that taught me how to build websites. They're the ones that taught me how to do affiliate marketing. They're the ones that taught me how to do um, marketing online and sell things online and do these email funnels and everything else. And the training is free to start. You get a ton of training just with the free starter program. And then once you become a premium member where you have to start paying, it's not that much. It works out to be like twenty, uh, twenty nine dollars a month, I think, if you're a premium member and the training is ongoing and ongoing. So, like I say, I'm just going to do a little plug here because if you're liking what I'm talking about and you're like, "Wow, I had no idea I could do all this with an email list," let me refer you to Wealthy Affiliate. Click on the link in the description box. Do the free training, and they'll teach you all this. And a lot of it is free. And when if you do sign up for Wealthy Affiliate, all you need is your email. You get the free starter program. You'll see my face in there. You'll see me in there, and then you'll have access to me all the time, and you can ask me questions about all this. So that's where you would get the training. If you if you really want to like make a living at this, and you have a blog, and you actually want to make a living at it, or even if you want to keep your day job, and you're just doing this part time. If you want to make some real money, you know, make a few hundred bucks a month, you know, but you can definitely use an email list to do that. Okay, so I I think I'm going to stop now because I think I've probably kept you too long. Let me just look at my list here and see if I've covered everything. All right, well, let me show you, let me tell you something quick and then I'm just going to try to sum it up for you like we talked about, okay? Okay. In the description box of this email or of this YouTube channel, I'm going to give you the link for Mail Munch, so you can go there. I'm going to give you the link for Aweber, so you can go there, so you can open up those accounts and you can get your pop up set up on your website and you can get your email list set up, so you can automatically from now on, when everybody when anybody visits your website, you're giving them an invitation to sign up for your email list. And I would suggest you give them some little freebie if you can, even if it's just an article you wrote. 
you could write a checklist for a free checklist, five things you need to know about gardening, write up a little checklist as a blog post and make that your make that your thank you page for your subscriber list. Okay. Even if it's just that, start with that. And then you're in business and you're setting up um, an email list. Um, I got off track. I've lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Anyway, um, oh, in the description box. So in the description box, I'm going to give you the link to go to Mail Munch and set that up. I'm going to give you the link to AWeber to go ahead and set that up. I am going to give you the link to Wealthy Affiliate to start their free training program. If you want to learn how to do more of all of this, I'm also going to give Give you to my website, work at home online for free.com. Oops, I clicked into here by accident. Um, let's just launch. Um, I'll give you a link to my website, and I'm also going to give you, surprise, surprise, a link to subscribe to my email list. So in the description box of this YouTube video, it's going to say click here to free, grab your free gift. And the free gift right now is a free video from me of how to make money affiliate marketing. Um, so there you go. If you sign up for my email list with the, with the link I give you in the description, you're automatically going to receive the video from me that's going to tell you how to make money at affiliate marketing. And in that video, I'm going to refer you to Wealthy Affiliate so that you can get the same training that I did um, to learn how to do affiliate marketing. So I would love it if you would subscribe and get on my email list. And then as you can see, as I've already shown you, once you're on my email list, you'll get a new email from me. You'll get a welcome email from me. And then you'll get a new email like every five or seven days. And it'll contain either a blog post or an article or a new video all about making money online. See, that's this email list. You see? So you're actually going to be able to be in it. And you're going to be, be able to be one of my subscribers. So you're going to be able to see what's Deborah's email list. Like, what is this? What do people get? You see what I mean? You'll be able to actually go through the process. So I'm giving you that in the description box. So if this video has helped you, I would appreciate it if you would give it a like. It really does help YouTubers when you hit that little thumbs up button and give it a like. It helps us get ranked in YouTube so that more people will see our video. If you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, I would love to have you on as a sub subscriber. You can hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive an email every time I do a video. I am doing videos once a week and all of my videos are how to make money online. Um, sometimes I'm doing a video just to refer you to something like refer you to Wealthy Affiliate or refer you to a webinar or um, all that sort of stuff. Um, there was uh, one of my um, videos, for example, is a full review of AWeber. Um, success videos, all that kind of stuff. But I'm doing them once a week now. And um, I do want to start getting into more tutorial videos where I'm actually like doing this with you, like sitting here and say, okay, open this up. Okay, this is how I do it. Now, my videos tend to be on the lengthy side. They tend to run about 30 minutes. But I like to think that when my subscribers see a new video from me, I want them to get a cup of coffee and go sit down and relax with me. You know what I mean? Like I, I just want you to feel feel like you're going to get value. It's like Deborah's going to show me how to do this or Deborah's going to show me how to do that. Um, I really want to be helpful to people. I want to teach you how to be successful making money online. And um, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, next time you see a video from me, you know enough to get comfortable because I'm going to talk a while and get a cup of coffee or whatever and just relax and, and enjoy. And uh, I hope that you you earn uh, learn, learn a lot um, from and I hope you earn a lot too. I do. I hope you earn a lot of money by subscribing to my YouTube channel and visiting my site and being on my email list. And always uh, feel free to comment below the video. Feel free to reply to an email. Always, always feel free to ask me questions. I'm happy to help. Okay. So again, let's go back to my website real quick. My name is Deborah, and my website is workathomeonlineforfree.com. Thanks again so much. Bye-bye.